Yo, what's cracking everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, as of right now, I'm sure most of you watching today's video are probably well aware that we are currently in our third year of live service updates with Forza Horizon 5, and we are only less than seven months away from the game reaching its three year anniversary. Yes, the game has really been out for this long already. Now, as a consumer who has been quite critical of Horizon 5, especially within the first year after the title launched, releasing recycled content after recycled content month after month, I must admit from Series 19, which I believe was the update in which Playground Games finally began properly experimenting with the evolving world feature by adding neon lights around the map, introducing numerous new to Forza cars each week which was unheard of at the time along with new to Forza body kits as well as anti-lag to so much more. The monthly updates since then to Playground Games credit have been pretty solid. I mean just look at series 32 as well as series 31. We've had a new to Forza card that all players can earn each week completely for free along with more evolving world areas to explore, more event lab props being added as well as additional new to Horizon and Forza cars that players can purchase if they want through a DLC car pack. This is further made evident by looking at Horizon 5's play account at least over on Steam where we can clearly see from March of 2023 onwards which is around the time of Series 19, the monthly play player base has not only spiked up by around 50% but it has been able to sustain and grow even more up until right now as of series 32. And remember, Steam numbers are players who actually bought the game. So with player numbers not dwindling down, Playground Games still delivering very decent content on a monthly basis. This then begs the question, will Forza Horizon 5 end its live servers updates in 2024 in favour of the release for Forza Horizon 6? Now before we continue, thanks to your continuous support right here on my channel, I have three Xbox codes for the latest Acceleration car pack to give away. For a chance to win, it's simple, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment down below which car from the acceleration car pack you want to drive most along with your xbox gamer tag and the winners will be announced in 48 hours so good luck to everyone. Now, if we were to speculate if Forza Horizon 5 comes to an end this year based on the history of previous Forza Horizon games, especially from Horizon 4, then really it's an absolute no-brainer. We should be expecting monthly updates to begin slowing down in terms of new content by once again featuring more recycled cars from previous Forza titles in favour of new to Forza cars and eventually the updates will come to a complete halt as the developers shift their focus on launching Forza Horizon 6 at the end of this year. Now, as much as I would love for this scenario to happen, as I think Xbox desperately needs a new racing title that players are actually going to purchase as well as play, not just have a go at the title because it's part of the Xbox Game Pass, like some other Forza title, I'm not entirely convinced if Horizon 5 ending its live service updates in favour of the launch of Horizon 6 in 2024 is going to happen. Hopefully I'm dead wrong and this video ages like milk, but I say this for a number of reasons. One, it doesn't look like monthly updates are slowing down. From this February onwards, we've already had 14 new to Forza and new to Horizon cars being introduced that were all completely for free. And if we wind the clock back three years ago with Forza Horizon 4 on the exact same timeline, only three new to Forza cars were introduced. Now, I'm not saying that this is the ultimate determining factor for Horizon 5 to continue beyond 2000. 2024 as things can abruptly change in the next few months, but signs do show that there's still more life left with Horizon 5 and the developers don't seem to be spreading out any of the new content they have in store over a longer period of time. The next point is, with so many paid car packs that Playground Games have released throughout the last 9 months or so, should more car packs continue to release within the next few months? I can't imagine how players would react if, after paying for all of these cars in Horizon 5, 
only for the exact same cars to then be available at launch in Horizon 6 so soon after. I think players would be furious, like there's just no cooling down period per se. And what if some of these DLC cars don't appear in Horizon 6 at launch? Players, including myself, are going to be even more upset that not only do we have to wait until who knows when Playground Games are going to decide to drip feed the cars we once paid for back, but also having to work for it just so we can unlock them again. To me, I think this is an easy recipe to make Horizon players very unhappy. Now, again, much like my first point, this isn't necessarily a true determining metric as Microsoft do have the power to decide, nah, screw it, we don't care. We made money from these car packs already. Let's now stop updating Horizon 5 and launch Horizon 6 this year. And we will include those same paid car packs featured in Horizon 5, either at the launch of Horizon 6 or drip feed them back in throughout the game's life. To be honest, this actually sounds quite possible now that I've said it, but who knows? However, the biggest reason why I think Horizon 5 won't end this year is because around a year ago, Xbox Game Studios chief Matt Booty revealed that one of the big key changes for Microsoft now is the extension of how long each game studios are spending on making the biggest budget games. Development cycles for titles are no longer two to three years anymore, but they're going to be four, five to six years from now onwards. The longer creation process Process is due to the increased complexity of modern games, plus the desire to reach higher technical marks with 4K compatible graphics and advanced lighting. Which means if we were to take this news at face value, we shouldn't be expecting Forza Horizon 6 until at the very least in 2025. Therefore, continuing monthly updates for at least another year or so with Forza Horizon 5. Not only that, it's also important to mention that Xbox Game Studios are no longer developing titles for the older generation of consoles outside of continuous support, meaning that should Forza Horizon 6 release, it will, much like the latest Forza Motorsport, be completely designed, built and launched specifically for the Xbox Series consoles, as well as PC of course. And I know this news may upset some players as I'm sure quite a few of you watching are still playing Forza Horizon 5 on the Xbox One generation just fine, but at this point building another cross-gen title again with Forza Horizon 6 only limits the possibilities on how far this series can go, and it's been said that the current Forza Tech engine used for Horizon 5 has been pushed to the absolute limit, so it's safe to say that it's time to move on. Now, this does come with a lot of pressure. With Forza Motorsport, let's be honest, being a downright disappointment, Playground Games with Forza Horizon 6, which is rumoured to be built on the new Forza Tech engine, must absolutely deliver. It's Microsoft's only first party racing title left that actually sells, and it also must be a good enough title to convince those who still currently play the Horizon series on the Xbox One generation to finally upgrade as we know Forza Motorsport failed to achieve this. Now, the question I wonder is, will what Playground Games deliver in the span of three years, should Horizon 6 launch in 2024, feature enough upgrades Upgrades to be a game that's worthy enough to be released exclusively for the current Xbox Series consoles in the eyes of the consumer given the amount of development time. I mean, we saw what Playground Games did within the span of three years from Horizon 4 to Horizon 5, and it's arguable that the upgrades weren't really that outstanding. However, if Playground Games had four, five, or six years to cook Horizon 6, Sure, the expectations of the title will be much higher, but I have no doubt it will be an absolute beast of a game, unless they pull a turn 10 on us, which I hope won't be the case. Now, of course, as I said earlier in today's video, I hope everything I said in today's video is completely wrong and ages like milk because as a Forza Horizon fan, I would absolutely love to see Forza Horizon 6 this year. I can't imagine driving around Mexico in Horizon 5 for another year or two, unless a surprise expansion 3 gets released, but 
Even so, that only gives the title an extra month or two in terms of excitement, unless they do something completely different by adding a possible new region to the Mexico map, or maybe even reintroducing an older map, say like Horizon 2, all with Horizon 5's user interface, as Horizon 2 has not only been delisted, but had its online servers shut down too. Who knows, but the worst thing Playground Games and Microsoft can do is release an undercooked Horizon game with minimal improvements. And finally, it was reported very recently that the upcoming Xbox showcase for 2024 is set to take place on June 9th. So rumors suggest that the games Microsoft are planning to showcase is the brand new Gears of War, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, as well as the new Call of Duty by Treyarch. Nowhere was Forza Horizon 6 mentioned. In my opinion, if we don't get an announcement for Forza Horizon 6 at this year's Xbox Showcase, then it's safe to say that Horizon 5 will continue for at least another year. Or maybe we could get an announcement for Horizon 6, but it could be something like what Turn 10 did with Forza Motorsport. A bit like a teaser trailer informing us that yes, it's happening, but we aren't sure when the game will be ready yet. But anyways, what do you guys think? There's a lot of factors to consider that I'm sure I didn't cover in today's video. Will Forza Horizon 5N in 2024 in terms of its live service with new content in favour of Forza Horizon 6? Will Horizon 5 go beyond this year and last for another year or two? Or could Playground Games and Microsoft go a completely different route? Share us your thoughts down in the comment section below as I do read all of your comments guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash a thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything Forza related, be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.